Hello, SideSD here. Welcome to another build video. Uh, this I know the patch came a few days ago, and I've noticed that the last time I made a build video was actually almost a week, and now the patch came out for the raids and all the talent, weapon talent, gear talent, nerfs and buffs that I've seen in the in the um patch notes I was surprised and I don't know how surprised I could be for seeing these in action because I do want to just mention real quickly that 577 builds do not even exist anymore I'll get on to that in another video but this is my new tank DPS AR build, which is actually not fully done. The only thing that really needs to be changed is my mask. And lucky enough, I got this mask from a friend that I matchmaked with for a bounty or just some random guy I was playing with. And here's my new build. This is the build I'm using. Don't don't bother this weapon. I couldn't find another weapon to go with this. I don't know what they really put on here. Uh I gotta look at my mailbox and see what I can. Oh, hold up. I don't know what I could put in here. Oh yeah, I noticed bloodlust got nerfed pretty bad, so I'm not gonna worry about that. But whatever. Um. Yeah, berserk got smacked. A few other things. Uh. So, actually, there's two problems with this build that's not really done. Uh, okay. Let me see. I don't know exactly. I know this is pretty, uh, pretty rough. Pretty odd video, but I just gotta... Before I... I guess I'll just put a Spaz-12 on here. I really have no other... No other gun for me to... There we go. Just all right. Now we can go on with the build. Obviously, here's my. This is not right. There's no way it's twenty point eight. I mean, it can't be. I don't know why the damage kind of glitches out sometimes. I don't know. Just a P416 Optimus Allegro. Your average, your average PVP AR. Spaz 12 with close and personal and Allegro. Uh, um, this is not, I'm really not going to be using a shotgun much, just to really finish people, but other than that, um, this mask could be so much better if I didn't have two attributes, but then again, I realize I kind of need it, so, there's a Gila Guard mask with, uh, health and hazard protection with spotter on it, spotter did buff, get buffed recently, by the way, I'm pretty late on a patch. I've just been laying low because of the raid. I tried to raid with um, a mixture of people in different clans and it just really didn't work. So besides that, using spotter, 20% weapon damage to pulsed enemies. Um, I'm using a Gila Guard vest with 25,000 armor, 4% crit damage, and 11.5% weapon damage with Unbreakable. Now, the two main talents that's going to really help your build, honestly, is Bloodsucker and Unbreakable. Bloodsucker's nice, but I feel like that's more of a PvE type of talent. So I went with Unbreakable just to stay alive a little bit longer because it's 70%. And, I mean, Bloodsucker's cool and all. I might have to switch throughout the two. So... I don't know, whatever works with this build, I'm going to see, but I'm just going to go with Unbreakable right now because once this video is done, I'm going to just hop into Conflict and see if this build actually works. So, uh, we're using a Fenris holster with 437 skill power and 2000 health on kill with Devastating on it. And... Uh... I'm using a Murakami backpack with 14,000 armor, 13,000 health, and 196 skill power with Vital and on the ropes. 
This is why I'm, I wish my mask was a little bit better. Because uh, I can't really use honor ropes. So that, that kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, I got to figure out how to really work this build around. I, there's a few things that is wrong with it. But I tried my best. Um, I'm using a Alp Summit gloves with 10% AR damage and compensated. I don't know. I feel like compensated is kind of bugged out. I don't know because the damage, I guess that's a bug with that talent. It's, I don't see anything different with my base damage with this gun. So it's, it's been at 17.7 .7 without compensated. So I really don't know what's wrong with that. With a uh, mod on there. I forgot to show the mods. Eh. Here's the mods right here. And by the way, this is a purple mod at the very top. Lucky enough to get 9,000. Yeah. And last but not least, Gila Guard knee pads with uh, 20,000 health with Patience. Patience is a really good talent. It's a really good passive talent. If you if all your skills on cooldown, I went over that by like a thousand times. So, and there's my um, mods. Now, with these build videos I've seen for other YouTubers, I've noticed that Gila Guard is really really popular in PVE and PvP, and I've noticed some people commenting in other YouTubers' videos saying that why people use Gilagar so much and it's really it's kind of self-explanatory as if you can really look at the gear it has way more mod slots than the gear that you want that that has a lot of attributes because it's different type of brand set there's also um Alps Summit which has a bunch of mod slots they're just different types this as this one this has one of each um, attribute versus this one this has two defensive and Providence could get you somewhere and uh, and also the gear sets might help but it'll risk losing a very important talent such as unbreakable or bloodsucker so and plus berserk did get hammered pretty bad so 577 seven builds technically do not exist anymore you can make them work but I'm not too sure how that would really perform so if anybody is willing enough to DM me a picture of their 577 seven build in their um, they're willing to like show how that works without really using the old talents I want to see because that could be very interesting Also, I don't really have a lot of armor, so that kind of sucks. But I do need to figure out how to level out this uh my utility and defensive, because right now I can't use under ropes, which would be very nice if I can. Which I would hit so much harder than just relying on spotter and pretty much my Optimus talent. I mean, it's not bad. I've seen some people that has the most similar build that is a little bit better than mine, and they managed to get their base damage up to 20,000, which I don't know how. I tried looking through that and using compensated at the same time, and it just didn't really work. So, because I have another... Um, I have another one like this with 8% weapon damage on it, but I can't use it because it'll penalize my compensated talent and I it has efficient on it, but I'll get more armor though. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty odd.
I do have some other talents I could use. This one might and no, actually no. Yeah, this one might work. Might not. <sighs> Just looking through some of this. I don't really have a lot of backpacks in my um stash. So oh, I have thirteen. Some of them are not bad though. I don't plan on ever using a gear set as a as well, I did in one of my LMG build, I believe. That was a long time ago, though. Um, I mean, this could work. Actually. This could work on a very, very low condition. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. I see the problem now. All right. Never mind. I can't really use this one. Wow. Had a little bit of hope there. Anyway, that's it for the build video. I know this is a pretty rusty build video, but I'm gonna try to get at least two within within this upcoming week, maybe three. And plus, I don't know how well my, as far as my likes did on my previous videos, cause I did mention I was gonna do a sniper build, which is my least favorite, but whatever. I'm going to try, like, sub, comment on the errors on this build because I know I did something wrong on here and uh, peace.